odd years ago. They made this house and they've surrounded it on all sides with temples. Why would someone build so many temples around a place like this? This is Rocky. He has been a ghost investigator for the last 15 years. He's written on the subject and even been published. But Rocky still likes to believe that he does not believe. This is Mayur. He has a healthy respect for all things supernatural and darkness unnerves him. Mayur, believe. No matter who we are or where we come from, the one thing that connects us all is an inexplicable fear of the dark. Because deep down, we all know that in the dark lies the mysterious, the unknown, the supernatural. Ours is an ancient land of mystery. A land where tales of the paranormal are whispered in every corner. We wanted to travel the land in search of these stories. We wanted to go into the dark. We wanted to explore. These are our journeys into the unexplained. is with the setting sun, there are parts of the ancient land of Bengal that are plunged into darkness. A darkness hidden away from the lights of lamps, crowds of people, the beating of drums and the smell of incense. Do places like this really exist? And if they do, what exists inside them? The Hooghly has its own pace and the city of Calcutta is full of contradictions. A modern city in every sense of the word, yet with beliefs that go back thousands of years. The landscape of Bengal is ever-changing and never-changing. The Hooghly River is a tributary of the sacred Ganges River. And as the sun goes down over the bridge behind us, what's going to come out? <laughs> there are a thousand stories over here and one of them lies in this little village where we are headed for. Because there, people believe they have seen demons, they've been attacked by a demon. There's been actual physical contact. And if it was to happen anywhere, it would probably happen here in the land of Bengal. A million stories of possession, a thousand tales about the supernatural, hundreds of demons. All we need to do is find one, one single one. Come on, we have a good chance. Just take some meat, get some alcohol. Let's do the invocation rituals. Let's dance on a full moon night and invoke the darkest demon that there is. He always says all these things when there's no avenue of exit. It's either sit with him and go hunt demons or swim in that. Really? I'll choose the demons. So this time, on India's Most Haunted, we were on the trail of demonic activity, which would lead us to a house a few hours out of Kolkata. But before heading there, we spoke with the oldest members of the family that owned this house to get a sense of the history and a set of keys. Uh, so, so where is uh, where is this beautiful house that we are talking about? You see, that is in the remote village called Rautala, Rautala. in the district of Howrah. Okay, uh, and, and sir, I believe this house has been sort of locked up for about a hundred years. Is that true? More than hundred years. Now, who was the house originally made for? That Jivan Krishna Rai. Okay. And that was your grand, uh, your father's grandfather. My father. Okay. There are five buildings, five kachariwadis. Hmm. All belongs to the sons of late Jivan Krishna Rai. Uh, so, any interesting incidents or stories that you can think of the place? Once there was a thief to steal the ornaments of the deities hmm. on that Radha Krishna Murthy. He went in and listened take out the ornaments from the deity. But he became blind and he left all the ornaments in the temple and came down and just waiting and searching the door to get out. Wow. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis and much more. Download free NDTV.com slash apps.